Back for the second period here at the Albany County Hockey Facility. I'm Ben Myers for TimesUnion.com and the Sidelines Box. CBA leads Burn Hills Ball Spot 1-0 on a goal by O'Keefe back in the first period. His fourth goal of the season has the brothers up 1-0. 14-40 left to go in the period. Three shots in that first period for Burn Hills and they had five in the book for the brothers. Taking on a danger for now, back in neutralized, but it's going to be dumped right in. Clark's still in goal for Burn Hills. Might have only had four saves in that period, but he definitely made a lot more stops. Shots might not have been on target, that's why he didn't get credit for a lot of those stops back in the first. I go to Van Lu over on the left, and he'll bring it in over blue line, try and get something going, then he'll lose to McMahon. McMahon drops back, and now he'll turn around and come up the middle for CBA. Through neutral, now through the blue line, trying to go that left side, can't get anything going though. Looked like he was gonna try and pass to O'Keefe, but couldn't get it to him. Now O'Keefe sticks his stick in, but back to McMahon. Backhand to O'Keefe in the slot, can't get anything going though. Godfrey emerges with it. Godfrey comes up the middle, tries to beat McMahon, but can't do it. We're gonna have offsides, late offsides here against Burn Hills as they try to go back to him. Brothers will back it up, try to get over from the far side to Greenwald. Greenwald can't get it out, and he'll go down on the ice, and we're going to have a penalty here. Probably going to be a cross-check against Burn Hill. Oh, no, actually, they're going to say it's delayed offside. They're going to say it's offsides against Burn Hills instead of a, a penalty there. Looks like it was. They're going to send Van Lu to the box for a cross check there as he got his stick up a little high, but instead, still at even strength with 13.30 left in the period. Grab tries to put one in, does so, but can't get enough of it to Venares, and it'll be knocked back out. No, not going to neutralize too yet. Burn Hills will hold in, and Dakota Swift is going to have to stick this one in the corner before CBA is going to have a chance to get it out as Burn Hills starts to deliver some hits along the boards. Eventually get it to Glennon. He'll put it back down underneath, and he'll hit grab as he goes for er, Excuse me. That's, well, that was grab that was back there trying to it up for Burn Hills, but now we're back out on the neutral ice and coming in off the left side. Brothers defense is there though, and they'll take it away. A couple of scooters have changed for Burn Hills. Popped up and over by Glennon. He'll chase into the corner, but Fitz is there for the Spartan. He'll move it along the boards over on the far side to Swing Ruber. Swing Ruber then fires it up the left side. We're going to have an icing call here against the Burn Hills. Balls to spa, Spartan. 12.35, or excuse me, 12.36 left in the second period. 1-0, CBA out in front. I'm Ben Myers for TimesUnion.com and the Sidelines Blog. Bringing you today's action. A lot of, like we said, in the first period, a lot of hockey action this week. Most of the wrestlers are either out of town or taking the week off as they prepare for the second half of their season. Hockey, though, gets in a couple of games. And we're going to have... One go into the goal right here, and they're going to have to reset the netting on the pegs. And I'll move it outside of the Spartan zone in the neutral ice. Face off, goes into the Burn Hill zone, and eventually grabbing it will be the Spartans, and they'll chip it out and over to the right side, trying to get to Van Lu. Van Lu trying to get the pass across to Godfrey, can't do it though. Now he'll have it back on the side, met there by three brothers. Put back in the corner, Godfrey tracks it down for Burn Hills, gets a backhand pass out in the slot, can't find friendly tape though. Now we're back out in the neutral ice, and Burn Hills is going to flip this one in. Try and get something going. Can't do so though. And Swantech has it over on the right. Swantech meets a couple of Burn Hill Spartans over there. Hart was one of them. And now they'll merge with it with Hart. Hart coming up that left side. Trying to get a pass across. Do so. Oh, sort of Godfrey. Godfrey drops it off. Shot coming. Hits Dakota Smith in the pads and bounces out. 11.43 left in the period. And here come CBA. Swantech just tra tracks it for a little bit and then he's going to let it go into the corner as he's going to get a change on the side. Van Epps on the ice now and he'll snow it back to the point. Shot up coming, kind of misstruck there, deflection in front, they couldn't get it on frame. Godfrey has it, tries to go 45 degrees to get it out, can't do so though. Now the shot will hit the defenseman and be knocked out of the Burn Hills zone. 
whistle on the ice, and I'm going to send Godfrey in the box here. Might have been roughing. Oh, blow to the head. They're going to say a blow to the head for Godfrey. He's going to be in the box for a minute and a half. His second penalty of the night. He said, leading score for the Spartans this year, and among the lead leaders in points, seven goals and 13 assists for Godfrey, but now he is in the box for the second time this evening. CBA couldn't cash in on the power play last time. Burnhill is able to clear off the get go here and get down to Coach Smith. One oh nine left, the CBA gets it set up. They go with Van Epps and Swantek on the left. Now they'll get it out to Bassett at the point. He'll line one up and let it fly, but it hits the defenseman and bounces into the corner. Play on the far side boards, and they get it back into that corner now, looking for a pass. Now they'll try and go behind with McMahon. McMahon can't get the handle, though. He'll lose it there, but grabbing it quickly and getting it back out to the point for CBA is O'Keefe. O'Keefe, they, well, they went to Swantech, and they try to go back to O'Keefe. Now O'Keefe kicks it back into the corner to McMahon. McMahon works out, comes right on goal, pass across, and Clark gets a foot there enough to make a save, and we're going to have a stoppage, and we might have had the goal come off again. Official talking with Clark there, making sure everything's kosher back in the crease. 35 seconds left on the power play, 10 20 left in the period. Draw goes to Burn Hills, put it along the boards. CBA is going to be able to hold it in though. Far side with Mail, or excuse me, Van Epps. Van Epps goes back out to the point to Bassett. Bassett across to Swantech. Swantech lines up, fires, hit in front, but it'll be covered by Clark. And we'll have a stoppage. 10.01 left in the second period. 16 seconds left on the power play. Draw one by CBA and Swantech lines it up. It's kicked into the corner by Clark. Comes back around to Swantech though. Right at the blue line, knocked up and out. Burnhill's going to be able to kill off this penalty here. And then for the second time tonight, they kill off another penalty. 9.45 left in the period. Godfrey comes out of the box and delivers the blow right at the blue line. But CBA will keep control as Godfrey tries to harass at the back. Bassett moves up that right side, flows through a couple, still on his feet, still with the puck through the circle, finally poked away as he's put down on the ice and cleared out by Vern Hills. Backing up will be McMahon, he'll grab it with 9.20 left in the period. They wave off the icing. Van Epps backhands along the boards, trying to get it back to the CBA attack. Now McMahon has it coming through the circle, shot on, saved by Clark down in the corner. Now we moved along, no, oh, they're gonna have a swing and a miss there on the far side. And try and play it back to Harrison. Harrison out to the point. Trip there, and now a man on the ice looking for a call. Wasn't, won't get one though, and Godfrey's going to track it down for Burn Hills. Trying to get a wrap around or a pass, can't do either, and it's knocked in the corner. Godfrey looking for help, gets it out to the point to grab. Grab lines it up, lets it fly, and Smith has it go wide to his right. Fitz comes up with it now, left circle, puts it on, and it'll be knocked into the corner once again. Pass up coming for CBA, they're going to go up over the top, and here comes Van Epps through the right side, puts one on Clark, and he'll score for CBA. 8.30 left in the period, and the brothers take a 2-0 lead. 